Hi everybody, uh, I'm back out on a dig uh, up at 1800's tip. Um, I've got about three or four hours to dig, so um, I've had to stop off for it at the 1950s tip to pick up a shovel that I left there. Um, so hopefully it's a, it's a bigger shovel, I can get a little bit deeper. Um, I'm not going to go too deep, just in case I get a cave in. I don't want to be buried alive, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on and see what we can find. Right people. First find, looks like a little sauce, a shear lip, so we're on the right track, um, it's got like a, a wonky neck, which I think that gives that a little bit of character, if you ask me. Right, another bottle showing it's in, uh, unfortunately it's a plain one, uh, but it is an old one. So we're on the right track. Right, we have a bottle showing. I don't know if I can get it out. I'll try and get it out live. Come on, out you come. Definitely an old one. Uh, but the question is, has it got out on it? It doesn't look like it's got out on it which is a shame but you are talking early 1900s maybe late 1800s wine bottle right i found a, a nice little find uh it looks a bit so let's have a stopper in a uh, lovely little bottle there, cut glass underneath, just hope I haven't got any cracks in it. So that is a, that's a keeper, I'd say. Let's see if I can get the cork out. Let's have a look. It seems to be stuck in there. Bear with me. Well, sorry guys, that stopper is well stuck in there. That's not coming out. Uh, maybe I could try and soak it in water when I get home, some warm water, hopefully it might prize itself free, but we'll see. Whew. Right guys, I've just been spending nearly 20 minutes digging, not found a thing, and then this pops out. Oh, buzzing. Is it intact? I hope so. It's an early one, cork top. Very happy with this one. Oh yes, BYB. I have got a couple of modern ones, BYB, probably 1940s, but this is a even earlier one. Uh, early 1900s, I'd say. But I am very happy with that bottle. Buzzing. Right, a little, a little miniature just popped out. Um, Evan Williams. Uh, I'm guessing that might be some sort of aftershave or something. Cork top. Right, just pulled this out. Uh, big mason jar. Uh, Back in there, I think they used to put dripping in that, in them. Chip on bottom there. I don't think it's got any maker's mark. No. Another early cork top, medicine. Uh, it says on it, Mason's, Mason's, and then, yeah. Mason's extract. That's not a bad ball. Got a bit of embossed writing on it. Check that out. Uh, it looks to be a, a little oxo. Tiny. A tiny oxo. Uh, it's a nice little find. 
Well guys, another 20 minutes have gone by and another pot has popped up. Let's have a look what it is. And it's just a plain, plain old, plain old note on it. Let's uh, have a look at, yep, plain old, plain old, but oh well, moving on. Now I've come across a, a nice little lung tonic med bottle, hull. Right, another one's come out, uh, Garten's HP Sauce, it's a shame it didn't have stopper with it like, so that's a nice little decorative bottle for the kitchen. Windowsill. Come across this little pipe ball, and when I say little, it is little, it is really tiny. Uh, I won't have a clue what sort of era. Right, we've found plenty of these before. Uh, successors to the California fig. California fig syrup. Um, I've also spotted some up there. Let's see what this is. Oh, hello. It's embossed. Hinds. Hinds. Not a bad bottle. To say I've just found it in wall. Cushed it. Right, we have a bottle. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. That is a nice one. Jason Co Limited. Bradford. It's a lovely one. Uh, let's have a look. Is it an applied lip? Yep. Applied lip. Really nice early. Vulcanite stopper. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Oh, J Hayes. Hay. That's what it is. Not J's. Yep, buzzing with that. It's a keeper. Well, I've just dug another one of these. Um, I wouldn't have probably took these home. I don't normally take them home. Uh, but with it having some nice markings on bottom, uh, I think I will. Not genuine unless bearing WHP. Hartley's label. Oh, what's that? That's a label. Mm, L. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's a keeper. Right, we have another bottle. Actually, we've got two. We've got a little one there. A little sheer lip busted there. This one. Let's see. What we can Please not be plain. Ah, oh, it was a plain one. Ah, oh, but it's it's one of them. I think three piece molds. So it was an early one. If you see mold there, that's what we call a three piece. I think mold. So it was an olden. Right, the late eighteen hundreds. Sheer lips come out. Uh, nice little design to the bottle. Nice little neck on it. Cushed it. Right, a lovely big thick um, glass jars popped out. Hay Ward Bros Limited. Uh, I think that's definitely a keeper. No cracks on it. 
really thick glass. Right guys, I am proper buzzing. I've just come across a poison bottle. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Got something in it. Look at that. It's a beauty. Quite big as well. Ribbed. Lovely one. Right, I've started to go deeper and look what I found. A nice stone inkwell. It's got a little bit of, um, I think it's burnt, damage to glazing on it, but still a nice find. Um, I'm going a little bit deeper than I normally do. Um, I'm about, I'd say, three, four foot down. Uh, maybe five foot down. But I've come across this one. Uh, and this little bottle's just popped out as well. A nice little shape to that. Uh, it's an app applied neck as well. Right, I've just pulled this big bottle out. Once again, it's a three-piece mould. Uh, if you can see there. Um, so, this is definitely 1800s. Um, Late 1800s, nice bottle. Let's see if what it says underneath. Oh, don't want to be smashing it. Oh, we've got a little bottle there as well. I think that's a D. Not sure. Not sure what that other letter is. Maybe an L. Right, I almost forgot about this little bottle over here. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Busted. Right, another bottle. Unfortunately plain. Not special. Uh, I'm going to call it a day soon. I'm going to give it another half hour. Uh, and then call it a day. Get home to the family. Spend the rest of the day with them. Right. I've just come across the stopper for that garden sauce. Complete. Excellent. Right guys, uh, time for me to go now. I'm going to go get cleaned up. Spent the rest of the day with my family. Uh, it's been a reasonably good day today. I've had a, a nice green poison bottle, which I'm chuffed about with that. Um, I've had some really nice late 1800s bottles. Um, I've been digging a little bit deeper than I normally do, um, maybe five foot down. Um, I'm not gonna go any further than that because um, health and safety reasons, I'd probably like Tony or someone else with me when I start going deeper than five foot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get myself off home, cleaned up and chill out now. So I'm gonna say peace out and thanks to everybody who subscribed.